turn off your phones, turn off your smart TVs, turn off everything. They're all listening. They're shoving ads down our throats. I'm telling you, it's just, it's a disaster. Welcome back to Deaton Street. I'm Zach. He's Dustin. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about a report that came out that suggests that maybe big marketing is trying to listen in onto our conversations. But before we get to that, please consider liking and subscribing. It helps the channel out a ton. We are pushing to 1,000 subscribers. That's our goal so that we can bring you this quality content for free, but maybe make some revenue off of the ads that apparently they are using audio recordings to target to you. Yes. So, so Dustin, we have this... Uh, article here we're actually looking at the apple insider version of the article but the original report came out by 404 media mm -hmm. and it's talking about cox media group uh, which works with some of the large brands and a slide deck that they had uh, so slide decks are like powerpoint that talked about a technology that could use active listening as they call it on device to figure out what people are talking about in the vicinity of that device take that information coupled with all of the data that they have pulled and kind of put together about each individual person and send targeted ads to individuals based on that information they even said they've worked with Google, Amazon, and Meta. Mm. So that's the report. Um, I feel like this confirms a lot of the conspiracy theories, or at least pushes a lot of the conspiracy theories that have been in the public lexicon for a very long time about phones, devices, TVs. Mm -hmm. smart refrigerators listening to us and mm -hmm. targeting those ads you've even seen on youtube uh folks put this to the test like uh, a couple you were telling me about that doesn't have cats that talked about cat food started getting targeted ads about cat food yep they, they so, sprinkled it in their sentences every once in a while they're like hey do you remember to buy cat food yeah we gotta eat cat food hey let's put cat food on the shopping list and then they started getting cat food ads just to take off the veil of making youtube videos and podcasts and stuff we, we talked about this before you and i are at different places with this yeah. uh at, at different scales of of how much you believe that this is really happening or maybe you know all that other stuff so uh, you freaked out in the beginning how much of that do you believe uh every ounce of it uh <laughs> i have had it happen to me on more than one occasion of things that we'll talk about at work or whatever and it starts popping up on my phone uh as an ad or as just something like or it's it's gone as far as which is weird it's gone as far as like we've talked about a meme that we've seen right on instagram or whatever a reel and then like eventually it would pop up fairly quickly like the next like you know little stint i would go and look at reels i'd be like oh there it is there's no way it should have been there right because there's just so much content but it just so happened to pop up now is that a stretch maybe but the ads absolutely it yeah so what about like the chicken and the egg aspect of all this are you thinking about these products and talking about them in your everyday life because you've been seeing ads and subliminally, subliminally after you've talked about it, then you're looking back and you're realizing that you've seen a lot of these ads or before it's more like you see the ads, but because you're not necessarily talking about it or interested in it at that moment, they don't click. It's kind of like the thing, like if you buy like a, a yellow car and then you start driving that yellow car and you're like, wow, you there's all, the all of a sudden a lot of yellow yeah. cars on the road. Yeah. There might be some of that going on, but this report does make me, you know, think about going and getting a tinfoil hat for a little bit, right? Right, so, right. Of course, of course, advertisers would use this, but it seems like such a large overstep of our personal boundaries, personal mm -hmm. privacy, that the backlash would, wouldn't be worth what you get for doing it. Yeah, it would completely just make the general populace distrust everybody like even more than what they already do because you got your people that do not trust uh but it would just be of the masses like a collective in my opinion it would be like a collective everybody's like oh 
they were doing oh that's kind of scummy you know like uh it would not be good uh for the big tech companies for that to happen so real quick let's go ahead and put on our lawyer suits and our lawyer hats and talk about the legality of this now and say that we're not lawyers or uh, we i don't have a suit i uh, I actually don't think I have a suit either anymore, but I do work in privacy. So I do know a little yeah, yeah. bit about this, right? So I can't necessarily say for sure I'm a lawyer and like, this is legal. This is not legal, but mm -hmm. from a privacy perspective, this would be legal. There is no federal state. Uh, there might be some state laws, but there's no federal law that says that, uh, companies can't listen in on conversations, right? It depends on their privacy policies, their data use agreements and that type of thing. Mm -hmm. So if in that 2000 page privacy policy or, you know, whatever other agreements that they, they make you sign that I'm if not going to read there, Yeah. That you're not going to read. <laughs> if it <laughs> says that from time to time, maybe they're going to actively listen like our other devices that have wake words, mm -hmm. you know, in order to have a wake word, there has to be some form of listening. listening. Same thing. This Constantly. has a, yep. Now, supposedly they're not supposed to listen until that wake word pops up, mm -hmm. but you know, you know, you never know. It's got to be listening for the wake word. So right. why not double down and take advantage of that? If you're one of those companies, like, like, oh, you know, we could, we could just use that to our advantage a little bit and then kind of not say so. I think for me, I live in this fantasy land where I believe that somewhere somebody is actually reading these privacy policies. And if there's, mm -hmm. there's, there's something wrong, someone's going to say something, but if everyone thinks that way, then no one's reading the privacy policies. Yeah. So eh, maybe, I don't know. Well, the other thing too, at the bottom of that article, it did say, uh, and you brought this up, it's not a problem for iPhone users. Right. Right. Uh, uh, specifically w with the branding of Apple, right? They, very privacy forward with their branding, but uh, iPhones, Macs, iPads, they all have a little notification at the top when a microphone is on. Yeah. Uh, now, do I believe that? Do I have an iPhone and it still happens to me? Yes. Uh, so that's why I'm like, like, I don't know if I, I don't know if I trust that, but again, who am I to say? I'm, I do I'm wanna, just little old me. I'm going to do something real quick. I'm going to talk to my my little person that lives on my phone uh -huh. and see if there's an, like a, a little button or notification that comes up. Hey, Siri. Yep. So there's a little deal up at the top, huh? Yeah. Yep. So, I mean, there you go. So if, if, if your phone's listening to you, you have a little deal up at the top, as Dustin so elo eloquently put. Little deal. Um, <laughs> little, little deal in the, on the little deal, the dynamic On the deal, deal. there's a deal. There's, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So in all the brands that I mentioned, so Meta, uh, which is Facebook, Instagram, Google, and what was the third one that I mentioned? Amazon. Yeah. All three of those in some form or another have denied that they're using this service and and distance themselves from the company that had this PowerPoint saying that they have the service and they're using it. Uh, I don't believe that, but I mean, you know, like I said, I'm a little old me, you know, I, it's just, that's the conspiracy theorist in me kind of deal. You know, uh, they, they're probably true. They're probably accurate with their statements there. You know, they don't, haven't done it or whatever. Yeah. This is a weird one, like conspiracy theory wise, because technically I would say it is still a conspiracy theory, mm -hmm. but it would not shock me. You know, it's one of those. It's where, and not, I'm not a, a conspiracy theory thing. Yeah. 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 Like, when I read this article, I was like, eh, yeah, it's like, oh, this isn't the Bigfoot of tech. You know, this no. isn't the Loch Ness monster of tech. This is like, oh, no, that's believable. Now, mm -hmm. whether or not they're doing it or not. It's up in the air. Are they lying? Yeah. Man, it's up in the air. Yeah. You know, I think it's, it's a cost benefit analysis for these companies. The other thing to think about is when you break a privacy policy as a company, mm -hmm. the FTC goes after you and the FTC finds you for that. So the federal trade commission is who uh, is in charge for most federal laws that have to do with, with that type of privacy. Mm -hmm. If the fine 
is not more than the benefit, the profit, the fine is ineffective. So what I mean by that is if you get fined a hundred million dollars, but this doing this thing got you three hundred million dollars, you're still up two hundred million dollars. Yeah, you can take a hit real quick and be like, oh, that's just a drop in the bucket. Mm -hmm. So the thing to think about is there are times in which companies will purposely break their own policies and regulations because the profit margin is better than any fine they will get for doing that thing. Mm -hmm. Is that what's happening in this case? I don't know. We're not here to tell you that. We're not here to, to tell you it's for sure happening or it's not happening, you know, but mm -hmm. we are here to bring it up and start the conversation. Yeah. Let us know what the tech companies are listening to you talk about and shove ads down your throat uh, on your socials. Because I'm genuinely curious if it happens to anybody else or if I'm the lone wolf who gets bombarded uh, with all of this stuff. So, well, if you like uh, the, the video, please consider liking and subscribing. And we'll see you next time. Peace. See ya. I'm walking.